stay with us when we come back on the AM show. We're talking about uh, the children who are protesting strict supervision during the ongoing WIAC examinations. But we're also talking about some of the comments that some of the students have made, especially when they were disappointed that some past questions that they answered did not appear, at least in the integrated science paper that they wrote on Monday. A lot more in our next conversation. Stay with us. Seche Kumaud District Director of Education, Joseph Donko, heads the investigative team. The others are Police Detective Inspector Emmanuel Oponsapon and District Deputy Coordinating Director Gideon Boabin. District Chief Executive Samuel Ade Ajekum says the committee has one week to submit its report. The whole thing centered not only on the invigilators. I think they alleged that um, one of the teachers uh, was attacked by the, by the headmaster, took the phone and then hit it on the ground. And I believe that it, 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 they, they were not pleased with it. I personally also was baffled. What, what were they expecting that they couldn't get? So I told them that, well, um, we need to look at that aspect also. But the, ma the major issue that confronted me, that I had to overcome, was the paper that they decided not to write. And we were able to write the wrong and then get them back to the classroom. A viral video captures a female student screaming out orders for distraction because authorities want them to fail in the examination. Her colleagues are either heard shouting in support or seen looking on. The footage of school's dining hall shows furniture toppled over and food scattered on the floor. Club welding male students were then on a march through the streets of Kumau, headed for district chief executive's office. One of them spoke to Insure FM on condition of anonymity. <laughs> Some people were denied permission to use the bathroom, even 30 minutes to complete the first paper. One lady had to urinate on herself. Four people I know were slapped by the headmaster. A teacher was slapped and his phone smashed because he alleged the teacher was trying to get questions for us. We wrote the second paper two hours late because of the incident. We started our paper at three when every school was done. We had the questions before going into the examination hall. Our friends from other schools sent the questions to us. It took every student less than an hour to complete the two hour 30 minutes paper. Mm. Students allege the headmaster smashed an invigilating teacher's phone for no apparent reason which they find intimidating. The DC says the administration will work with education authorities to resolve the matter appropriately. And according to them, they don't want the headmaster in any of the examination halls from um, tomorrow when the examination resumes. What are you doing about this? Yesterday I was with the director of education here and we will not do anything to uh, mar the peaceful atmosphere that we are enjoying currently. So it is in his own interest and then the security of the exams. So that uh, at the end of the day, when all is said and done, he will also be protected. For Joy News, Nana Ojima reporting. Okay, so that's the situation uh, from Chenebua Kodia, and that reports. Uh, filed by our colleague Nanai Aljima, uh, who's uh, done extensive work following this matter. Well, he explains to us that the school authorities will not explain, uh, will, will not comment on this matter. But of course, the DCE, as we saw him speak to him, commented on it. And DISEC has taken over the investigations of this, uh, of this matter. But this is not exclusive to Chenebua Kodria. We will share some videos uh, that we've come across with you on this yeah, whole matter of uh, examination yeah. and how some people um, have solved we to some do past we questions to do they were expecting, like apparently, to see those gone. questions in the exam hall. And it, nothing dropped from the booklets that some allege have been uh, were sold to them. And it looks like 
they were promised at least that they would see the questions they didn't see, and so they are complaining. I mean, it brings, uh, it introduces a whole different twist to this ongoing examination. Remember when it started, the issue was we're battling with the with the pandemic. Are the students going to go back? After all that conversation, students did indeed go back, and here we are with fallouts of this ongoing examination. When the videos are ready, we will share some with you. Uh, so let's, let's, let's take a listen to this video, at least, that we got. To the president. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Nana. Then I yell. Then I yell. What do you do? Ah. You, know, you? <laughs> you make we solve this book uh, from cover to cover. Yeah. Cover to cover. Pay to pay. Pay to pay. English oh. already. Everything. Oh. Come on. Come on. Help me. Oh. Nana. Ah. Why? We bore you. Ah. You think say we go vote give you. You like that. Ah. Hey. Hey, <laughs> Why say you give me book? Government give me book, say me will learn. Now, Pasco, you will come. Nothing come for the tea side. Nothing come for the tea side. The man is we prepare, give them to where they said it up, but to nothing come. See, Obi and my Bosa. Obi and my Bosa. I don't know where I don't know where I don't are you going to vote for Uncle Fado? That's my mother, mother. Your mother, mother again? Break your heart. Break your heart. Okay, some of the comments obviously disturbed, uh, disturbed me. We apologize uh, for that. But these are some of the videos making rounds. Uh, reacting to the fact that they didn't see the questions, at least that they said they were expecting because somebody had sold some documents of them, at least some past questions that they have solved. And they were expecting to see those past questions in the exam hall. Here's what we know. The examination body, WIAC, has not officially reacted to this. We will bring you, if, uh, we'll bring you up to speed if there's any reaction from WIAC, uh, at least. The Ghana Education Service has also not reacted. And as I did say earlier, the school, uh, Chenibua Kuria, has also formally not reacted, but we've heard from the DCE. Uh, we're, going to, we're going to have some other person's comments uh, on this issue, this uh, uh, current issue. Let, let's speak to a man that we engaged just last Monday talking about the free SHS 